All right, welcome back. We have Senator Shabair, Norby Shabair, that's joined us on the desk here. And first of all, give us an assessment. You've been around. Before we get to the floodgate situation, what did you see today moving around the parish? Well, in, in, along with what Michelle said, there are some areas that uh, we're dealing with water, both inside and outside of the system. Uh, some places uh, are holding a little worse than others. Some places that we didn't anticipate to fare as well as they did, uh, did just that. So, you know, overall, we, we all know what kind of a bullet we dodged. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever get a system. Again, you never want to say never, and you never know what can happen. We all lived through one. We know it was my first experience as a 10-year-old kid uh, watching my mama push water out of the house was for one, and it was for yeah. an event very similar to this. Yeah. Um, will we ever see that much rain that quick or that, you know, that slow? Again, who knows? Only, only the Lord knows about that. But as a system, I believe that, that uh, we handled it to the best of our ability. The system is not complete. It's nowhere near complete. But the strides that we've made in the last two, two and a half years, just since Ike and Gustav, are, um, you know, they're very visible. Mm -hmm. that, could, that could have been a lot of homes flooded today. And one thing that I do want to want to mention, you know, for, for all the problems that we've had with elevating homes, uh, the number of homes that have been elevated in this parish, uh, in Lafouche Parish, over the last four years, okay, yeah. could be the telltale sign in, in this whole deal. I said that this morning. Look at the trouble that y'all went through having to convince people to do that, but they're thanking you oh, yeah. this morning. There's no oh, doubt yeah. about it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What happened at the floodgate? Tell me. My phone was ringing. Yours was ringing. Y'all want a helicopter right. flight. What happened there? Well, um, as soon as we landed, uh, my phone naturally started going off. A, a, a couple of my very good friends were affected by it. Uh, I immediately, you know, conferred with, with the parish president and levy director who were on board the helicopter with us. Um, we tried to figure out to the best of our ability what had occurred in speaking with the residents that were affected, as well as the folks that were on the ground uh, from the levy district. Uh, we then, I definitely got in my truck and went down there. I know. Uh, Give us the area, Norbert, for people. You're watching. talking about the Boudreaux Canal floodgate and, and you know, lower Chauvin, right. basically. Um, what, what happened, Martin, and, and I tried to explain this to the best of my ability to the citizens that were affected. You know, due to the fact that we have so many new structures in place, we have so many new levees in place, um, we've never had the type of protection that we have. We're still dealing with a lot of trial and error, okay? Mm -hmm. We haven't had a rain event like this since 1985. Uh, how do we handle it, you know, as a levee district, as a parish, as a state? You know, uh, there's going to be some trial and error. Um, the key word in there is error. Everything you do will not always work out the way you want. Um, the situation was that uh, the person on the scene uh, decided that he was going to try to open up the floodgate to relieve some of that pressure that we were dealing with in Bailokaya um, that was not going down. And Bailokaya is a major problem for this parish in terms of the amount of water that it, that it can hold. Mm -hmm. uh, when you close the floodgate at Boudreaux Canal, uh, there's a lot of water that comes into Lokai via, you know, Smith Ridge Pump Station. Um, a lot of the drainage. Uh, it's such a strategic point, too. It, it very much is. And a lot of work that we're doing for the Morganza structure is just south of that area, you know, and, and just to the, to the east of it with the Bush Canal floodgate. Um, when, when the attempt was made to open the floodgate uh, to, to alleviate some of the pressure that had built up the floodgate, Times in the past when they've done that, what it, what it does is it creates a suction from Bailokai and sends it south, you know, towards Kokodri and, and out uh, to the open areas. That was not the case, uh, it seems, in this scenario. Uh, the water that got released came up, created a, a, a little mini surge. It was by no means uh, a, a tidal surge of any sorts, but the water that was high already did come up. And uh, when that happened, you wind up getting some, some water on the road where there, there had been water prior that had receded. Uh, there were some areas that had managed to get very little uh, water, saw water coming up dramatically uh, in a very short period of time, and they got panicked. You know, you yeah. said it, and uh, I, I was on the phone with a citizen that was, that was experiencing that water, that dramatic water rise 
while we were, um, you know, just getting off of the helicopter. And, you know, not three minutes into the conversation did she say, okay, the water's going down now, but the damage has been done. Yeah. Um, so it, by, by no means was this uh, a, a, a big time tragedy. You know, the, no, no one experienced dramatic uh, loss of, of home or um, what would you say two businesses got water in it yeah uh, there was no some, homes though. there may be more than more than the two businesses that that I know of that uh, had gotten some water but I, 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 don't, I don't I can't speak to that directly uh, one business that I did visit had no water for the event and due to the opening of the floodgate there was some water that kind of went in nothing you know to you and I uh, would be a big deal but that's not our business okay right. and uh, you know those people have to deal with the fact that they got water in that place now yeah yeah unbelievable what we'll do we'll take a break when we come back we'll roll in some more video that we accumulated today and we'll get more comments don't go away <laughs> 